So endoscopic procedures are usually covered under insurance, uh, but it is important to understand that most of the insurance companies will not uh, provide insurance only for the purpose of diagnosis, but the insurance companies provide assistance for the purpose of treatment. So suppose anybody gets admitted for the purpose of treatment for their medical conditions and during that time a diagnostic endoscopy is done. So these are usually covered easily. But if the patient is getting admitted only for the purpose of diagnosis and a diagnostic test like a diagnostic endoscopy or colonoscopy is done, there is a good chance that it might be rejected by the insurance companies. So it is important that you know the terms and conditions of the insurance which you are getting done. It is always better to have a comprehensive insurance which covers all the uh, disease conditions. Usually there is also a waiting uh, period of around two years by most of the companies where uh, uh, medical conditions are not included in the first one or two years. That also has to be made very clear by the uh, patient with the insurance company. Uh, daycare is one of the things which uh, the patient should be aware of. Some of the companies provide for daycare admissions. Some companies don't provide for daycare admissions and it is always useful if you have a daycare provision in your uh, insurance. So there are certain fine prints which the patient should be aware of and one most important advice that I would like to give is that it is extremely essential in today's era to have a good medical insurance because healthcare costs are rising and sometimes it might be very difficult to pay out of the pocket especially if some major medical conditions arise. So make sure that you have a medical insurance and make sure that you know the terms and conditions of the medical insurance well. Mm.